So in this video, I'll be showing you what's my pre-market routine. A lot of you guys have been asking what I do in the morning to really set up for success and it might not be what you expect. So as usual, all the best tools will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. There's a few obvious things in my pre-market routine, like getting up, it's pretty obvious, taking a shower before trading, and getting dressed. If I don't take a shower, I always feel in a lazy state, like a Sunday morning. The next thing after getting dressed is going to be a nice little coffee. I do that while I get to my computer, and this is going to be about 6 30 a.m so i do trade a lot the pre-market now i don't trade that much during the regular trading hours so because my trading is going to be you know between 6 and 9 30 a lot of the time i'm not going to be able to really go outside or have a workout or like stretch because unfortunately i do want to sleep in and if i want to get my eight hours i need to be in bed by 10 all the time it's quite hard you know i have a girlfriend but when you're on vacation, like in Argentina, it's two hours later. So that means when the market opens at 9.30, it's going to be 11.30 a.m. over here. And that's nice. Coming back to my routine, I start to look at what happened the day before. And I start to game plan or think about ideas for the day. But I trade very differently than most traders. So most traders do trade technical patterns. So they wait for a stock to move up. They wait for like a nice wedge. And then they try to buy the breakout when it breaks. I don't do that or at least don't do it often. What I really do is look for stocks that have fresh news. And for me, a fresh news is this news that came out in like the past 30 seconds. And I try to be one of the first one on that news. So a lot of what I do is about speed and less about pattern recognition. The pattern recognition part is going just to come in handy after I'm already in a trade because I do still know how to trade patterns because I did that for the past four years. So, this is going to be where I mess up the whole counter and I also have my second coffee. At about 6.50, I'll normally get my second cup to make sure that I'm really sharp during the trading morning. And being sharp implies being back at my desk by 6.50 because all these companies are going to start releasing their press release by 7 a.m. At least most companies. So from about 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m., this is where I'm going to be the most active. But there's a tricky part about this. When I used to trade patterns, I was able to really create a game plan and, you know, write down ideas of what I was looking for. But when you trade news, you don't get this luxury. You have to be really sharp about what type of news and also the expectation of move that you should be seeing from this type of news. And you have to process this within a really short time frame because your edge is gonna be speed versus the pattern recognition. So you can't write down anything, everything has to be in your head. And this is where you can get a really good advantage depending on your mental ability. When it comes to the type of news, I really look for news that made a stock move a lot. How do you know that? You look for a stock that historically made a big move in the pre-market or the after hour. I look at the news and I create filter for similar news and then I just wait for these news to come up. Like anything in trading, some days are gonna have so many news, some days are just having almost no news, and this is where patience comes handy. That's nothing new in trading. No matter what strategy you're trading, it's something you're gonna have to deal with. So at this point, it should be about 8.45, and for me, this is where it really slows down, and it's a good time to take a break. on vacation this is going to be the perfect time to enjoy the sun and not be stuck in the cold ass winter in montreal unfortunately i have to be back at my desk around 9 15. so between 9 15 and 9 30 this is where i create my regular trading plan and then i'll put really what's the hottest stuff with the hottest news if there's a pattern that happened later 
but for the most part I'll just be tracking stuff that come out with news during the day but this is not really something that happen often or at least the big moves don't happen every day what's going to create a big move is an ultra positive catalyst or ultra negative catalyst everything that's in between is just irrelevant and most of the filter I build out is just about taking off all the fluff in these news so for the next two and a half hours what I'll do is just focus on these news feed and also keep an eye on the one or two stock that might offer a really big move. Also, because I trade news, I don't get the luxury of taking a long break because you never know when a news is gonna come out. This is why I only take a lunch break between 12 and about 12 30. during that break what i'll do is cook myself something light because i don't want to be too stuffed and fall asleep a lot of time i wish i could just take a nap but it's not that time yet so back on the screen around 12 30 and this is where i'm going to be sitting again for the next three and a half hours the first thing i do when i get back to my desk is just chat with friends chat with the boys catch up on what they traded on the day how's everyone doing and also what they're watching for the afternoon because the best scanner is often just the eyes the rest of the day between 2 and 4 p.m is going to get back to really active trading for most traders and not many people are going to be willing to talk or just you know listen to your bad joke and it's also the time to really focus on trading because this is what i'm here for So at about 3.30, this is where my day is going to end unless there's a crazy stock going around or it is earning season. But right now I'm on vacation and I'm trading on my portable setup that you can get all the details right here.